Now, one of the most important and interesting and surprising things that I learned while researching the expectation effect was the way that our attitudes to ageing can shape our longevity. So studies have found that people who have a positive view of ageing, who associate old age with something like wisdom or knowledge compared to uh, debility and frailty, that they actually live seven years longer than, um, than the people who have the negative views. And this also protects us from some age-related diseases. So even among people who have a genetic risk factor for Alzheimer's disease, the positive attitudes to ageing can be protective, so they're less likely to develop dementia. Now that seemed almost impossible to me when I first came across that research, but the uh, deeper I dug into the research, the more I saw that there were actually some very plausible mechanisms to explain why that might be. Now, the most obvious one concerns people's behaviour. If you just assume that you're going to face an inevitable decline, you might be less likely to take care of your health, um, to do exercise and to eat healthily. And that is undoubtedly one factor. But there are also some physiological mechanisms here. So when people see ageing as this kind of negative process, they're more likely to feel uh, stressed about the small challenges in life. So that raises levels of hormones like cortisol, which can be damaging to our health. It can also raise things like inflammation. And we know that inflammation is linked to diseases like Alzheimer's. Um, and we see these changes right down to the cellular level. So people who have positive views of ageing actually show less cellular ageing um, within things like the uh, expression of genes within the cells. Um, this just seemed hugely important to me for a number of reasons, but most of all because I soon became aware of just how much ageism we have in our society that's propagating these beliefs. Um, during the uh, US election, for instance, I saw so many comments on um, Biden's age um, as if he was on the cusp of um, senility. But actually, there's good research showing that people's decision-making continues to improve into old age which would mean that someone who's in their senior years would actually be more capable of making the really important decisions for a country. Um, that's really, to me, why the expectation effect needs to be taken so seriously. And I think it can change the way we, as individuals, view ourselves, but it might also raise some really important questions for the society that we live in and the traits that we value.